grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we begin tonight's All Souls service, we will not only be remembering and grieving the people we have lost, but also the innumerable losses this year has brought us and our world. I invite you to have a candle lit to symbolise that the Lord is present among us this evening. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term that her penalty is paid. See the Lord God comes with might. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The first candle we light is to remember those whom we love and are no longer with us. We pause to remember their face, their voice, their smile, the memories that binds them to us. We hold them before God, giving thanks for the time we had with them. As we remember before the Lord, John and Kathleen Abrahams, John, Dorothy, Ernest and Edna Acker, Lewis and John Claude Bacchia, Keith Bellis, Vola Bellis, Charles and Aubrey Ben, Ella Bloomerus, Hannah and Richard Bloomerus, Rosie and George Bromhead, Wendy Buss, Eric Coralie, Joan and Ted Cowan, Cecil and Hester Sister, Donald and Jane de Kef, Jessica and Raymond de Kef, John and Beatrice Ensel, Peter Ensel, Isaac and Dora Eves, Peter Garrett, Kevin Michael Hammond, Ernest and Susan Hearn, John Harrison, Jack Stowe Henley, Linda and Steve Howe, Mary and Michael Ingleby, Robin and Beverly, Peter and Joyce Kent, Robert and Rona, Hilda and Robert Lewandahl, Ken McGowan, Val Muller, Helen Musgrove, Albert and Gladys Naudret, Marlene Neal, Stan Arley and Graham Nichols, Marjorie Ohm, Reverend Frank and Moira, Reverend Rodney and Leslie Oliver, Gordon Palmer, Lau Palmer, Elmer Phillips, 
Len Purvis Carl No Quig Dorothy Robinson Sybil and Thomas Robinson Lynette Saunders Annie Mae Shear Doreen Schmidt Andrew Strawhorn Kathleen Thompson Catherine Thompson Kathleen and Owen Thorne Jacqueline and Raymond Mike and Richard Valpry David Walker Aubrey Cynthia Crystal Troy Bernard Phoebe Reville and Louisa Yon Let us pray. Lord, each of us takes our loved one by the hand and leads them to you, the God of love. Accept our love and thanksgiving as we entrust them to your loving care. Thank you for the gift each of these people have been in our lives. We believe we will celebrate the joys of love and companionship with them again in your kingdom of joy and light. May this truth sustain us in the days, months and years to come. Comfort the hearts that ache with sadness and the lives that feel empty and lost. We ask for strength for today, courage for tomorrow and peace for the past. We ask these things in the name of your Christ, who shares our life in joy and sorrow, death and new birth, despair and promise. God of sorrowing, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The second candle we light is for the pain of loss, the loss of relationships, of jobs, the loss of health in ourselves, family and friends, our country, our world, the loss of joy and peace from all the stresses of this year, the loss and loneliness of not having been able to share time and experiences with family and friends. The loss of travel and experiences in other places. As we gather up the pain of this past year, we offer it to you, O God, asking that into our open hands you will place the gift of peace. Take a moment to remember the losses in your life this year. I invite you to name them aloud or in the silence of your heart. Let us pray. God of mystery, we come before you in need of peace, ever aware of your promises of guidance and protection. We want to place our trust in you, that our hearts can grow fearful and anxious. We forget so easily that you will be with us in all we experience. Teach us to be patient with the transformations in our lives, 
and confident that you will never leave us or forsake us. God of companionship, in your mercy, hear our prayer. A reading from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The third candle we light as a sign of hope, the hope that the upcoming Christmas story offers to us. We remember that God, who comes to us helpless and vulnerable, shares our life, understands our weaknesses and promises us a future of no more pain and suffering. In a moment of silence, I invite you to thank God for his mercy and love, for the simple blessings you have received this year. Let us pray. O God, whose spirit is known by those whose hearts are thankful, lift up our hearts to a joyous confidence in your care. Guide us when we cannot see the way. Where there is love and comfort and hope in life, teach us to find it. Help us to trust it and enable us to grow. God of new beginnings, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I invite you now to join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight as we remember All Souls Night. Remain hopeful and faithful in the assurance that you and all whom you love and have prayed for tonight are beloved children of God. I shall leave you with the following blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And the people said, Amen. <laughs>